Welcome everyone. Be'ez HaShem, we begin on Daf Ches Amad Aleph at the very top. A statement from Rav Shimba Yochai, who says, not only is it important to daven together with the minion with the tzibur, but if a person cannot, at least he should daven the same time as the tzibur. My dechsiv, what is it meant by the postic Vanisa Filosi Lecha HaShem Eis Ratzoin? That HaKash Baruch I should dive with you when it's an eitz rotson. My tefila, personal tefilosi, a masai eitz rotson. Says the Gemara to explain when is it considered to be an eitz rotson? Beshosha hatzibur mispalim. When the tzibur is davening. Rabbi Yosi, Rabbi Chanina, Omar Mehacha. He learns it from a different verse. Koya ma Hashem be eitz rotson anisicha. Hakadosh Baruch Hu says it's an eitz rotson. When you're davening with the tzibur, anisicha, I will answer your personal tefillah because you're davening at the same time as the tzibur. Rav Acha, Rabbi Chanino, Omar Mehocha, from the following verses: Hein Kel, behold, Hakadosh Baruch Hu Kabir Veloyimas, tefillah berabim, the tefillah of the rabim is not disdained. V'ksiv, and it says, Poda b'sholom nafshi mikrov li, Hashem redeemed me. In Shalom, from wars that approached me, ki berabim hayu imadi. Why? Because the rabim was together with me when I daven. I daven together at the same time as the rabim. Tanya nami hochi. We have a brisa also like this. Rabbi Nosson Oimer minayin shein akush baruchu moyis betfilosin shal rabim. From where do we know that akush baruchu does not disdain the tefila of the rabim? Shenemar hein kel. Kabir v'lo yimas. Behold, Akrish Borchu, the tefillah of the Rabbi Akrish Borchu does not disdain. Bixiv poda b'sholom nafshi mikrov li. The same pasuk we brought before, that Akrish Borchu redeemed me b'sholom as I approached war because my tefillah was together at the same time as the Rabbi. Says the Gemara right there. What does this mean in this verse? Poda poda b'sholom nafshi. Oma Hakadosh Baruch Hu Kol Ha'Oisek Batayra Uvegemilus Chasodim Umespalel Im Hatzibur Male Ani Alov Ki Ilu Padeni Li Ulebonai Mibein Umois Ha'Olam. Hakadosh Baruch Hu says, somebody who is Oisek in Torah, in Gemilus Chasodim, these are things that bring Shalom. Torah, for example, brings Shalom, as the pasuk says, Bechon Esivaseh Shalom. Chesed brings shalom. When a person does chesed with somebody else, they feel that love towards him, and therefore they begin loving him back, and that brings shalom. And umispalel, together with the tzibur, also brings shalom. It's my ani alov ki ilu padeini ulebonai mibein umos haolam, because after all, these are the three pillars: Torah, Avoida, and gemilus chasodim. When we had the Beis Hamitaj, we had Avoida, Avoida Sa Korbanos. But now that we don't have the Korbanos, we don't have Beis Hamikdash in place of the Korban of the Tzibur, we have the Tfilah of the Tzibur. Omar Abish and therefore it's as if Hakash Baruch Hu was redeemed. Because after all, when the Kla Yisrael, the Yerei Shomayim, is in a state of Shiflus, then people are Koifer. In Hakadosh Baruch Hu, in His power to redeem us, but then when Hakadosh Baruch Hu sees that people are oisik in Torah, Avoida and Gemilus Chasodim, it's as if they repaid him, they redeemed him and his children from the Umos Haolam. Omar Reish Lokish, Kol Misha Yesh Lo Beis Hakneses Bi Iroi Ve'Eno Nichna Shom Lihispalil Nikro Shochen Ra. If a person has a shul in his vicinity where he lives and he does not enter the shul to then daven together with the tzibur, he's considered to be a shoch and ro, a bad neighbor. Why is he a bad neighbor? After all, he's a bad neighbor of Hashem. This is the house of Hashem, the Beis HaKnesis. And therefore, a bad neighbor doesn't want to stop by. Another, another explanation is that he's a bad neighbor of other people in the neighborhood because he doesn't allow the greater Shechina to rest when he is not present helping bring down the Shechina together with the rest of the Tzibor. 
הנוגעים בנחלו, אשר הנחלתי אס עם עמי ואס עמי אס ישראל. So said Hashem, all of those שכנים רואים, those bad neighbors, who, who damaged the inheritance that I inherited my people and my people who are Kla Yisrael. ולא עוד אלא שגורם גולוס לוי ולבונוב. Not only that, but he causes גולוס to him and his children. שנאמר, as the rest of the verse says, הנני נוידשום מעל אדמוסום ואסבייס יהודה אתוש מתוכום. Behold, I am uprooting from upon the ground and the house of Yehuda I am uprooting from amongst them. Omru lay le Rabbi Yochanan. They said to Rabbi Yochanan the following, Ika sabe be bovel. There are old elderly people who live in Chutzlart in Bovel. Tama the Omar. He was in wonderment and he said, Behold, it's written that you will have lengthy days, you and your children, on the Adam, referring to Eretz Yisrael. So chutzlarts, there should be elderly people that live in chutzlarts. But once they told him, that these are people who came early and left late from the Beis HaKnesses. Omar, he said, Now I understand, this is what helped them. Get up early and stay late by going to the Beis HaKnesses so that you'll have longevity, long life. Om Rabbi Acho Rabbi Chanino. My Kro. What's meant with the following verse? Ashrei Adam Shomei Ali. Oh, my, my Kro. This is the following verse. Ashrei Adam Shomei Ali. Lishkod al dal soisa yom yom. Lishmar mezuzah psochai. He said, the Apostle of here says, Fortune is the person who guards my doorways. Every single day, referring to the morning. He gets up early in the morning, the Beis HaKnesses, HaKadosh Baruch Hu's door. Lishma Mezuzah Psochai. He also guards my Mezuzos, referring to the evening. Fixi Basrei ki moitzei motzachai. Those who moitzi, they will find me, because I'm present, says HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the Beis HaKnesses, they will find life. Om Rav Chizda la'olam yikanes odlam shnei psochim, the Beis HaKnesses. A person should enter the Beis HaKnesses, he says, the Beis Psochim, in two doorways. Shnei Psochim Salkedaiktach? The Gemara asks, there's an Indian to walk to th- into two different doorways when coming to the Beis HaKnesses? Ela eima shiur Shnei Psochim. Ve'achakach yispal. Rather, the Kavana here is that a person should enter the Beis HaKnesses and pause and wait the shiur the amount of time of walking through two bate psochim, two psochim, which is approximately four seconds or so before beginning tefillah, before beginning Shmona Esrei. Says the Gemara Vaiter, bringing a posuk, al zois yispalel, kol chosid eilecho leis mitzoy. The posuk says, after all, for this that is important. A person who is a chasi will daven to you, Hashem, for that in times that he will need it, it will be matzah, it will be found. Omar Rabbi Chanino. So now the Gemara brings several explanations, interpretations of this verse. What is it referring to? Le'es matzoy. Omar Rabbi Chanino, le'es matzoy zu isha. It's referring to a wife. Shenemah, as it says, matzah isha. Matzatoiv, one who has found a woman, has found good. in the West, in Eretz Yisrael, kinosiv inish itza, when a man would marry a woman, omri lei hochi, they would say the following, matza oi moitze, did he find or moitze? Matza dechsiv, based on the verse, matza isha, matza toiva, v'yafek rotzen Hashem. He found a woman and he found good. 
he brought for the favor of Hashem. But Moitse is something else. Dechsiv it says, Umoitse ani mar mi moves es ha'isha. So it asks in Eretz Yisrael this question to the person who just got married. Rabbi Nassim Oimir Le'eis Motzoi refers to something else. Zu Torah refers to the Torah. And therefore, Chassid should get accustomed to asking for the necessity of Torah. For after all, in a time of need, he will need Torah. Shneemar ki Motzei Motza Chayim. Rav Nachim by Yitzchak Omar Le'eis Motzoi means something else. Zu Misa. It refers to Misa. That a chassid should be asking Hashem to help him all of the time, so that he will be able to then, in a time of need, have the proper misa shenemar la moves toitzoos. Tanya nami hochi. There's a brayso also like this. Teisha chame os v'shloisha mine misos misa. There are nine hundred and three different types of deaths. Nivru ba'oil that were created in the world. Shenemaz, it says, Lemaves toitzoos. Toitzoos be gematria hochi havu. The word toitzoos is the gematria of 903. Kosher Shebekul in the Gemara explains there are different types of misos. The most difficult of all is called askara. Neiche Shebekulom, the most pleasant, so to speak, the most easiest type of miso is called nishiko. Askara. Is dami kechizro begavavo de amro del achore nashro. Askaro is compared to a thorn on a branch where wool is put inside and trying to then be taken out. As he pulls the, the branch, the thorns, the wool gets stuck and he pulls inevitably some of that wool. Very painful describing the neshama has a difficult time leaving the goof. And there are those who say, It's like a thick chevel, a thick rope that needs to go through a narrow opening. Neshika, on the other hand, Neshika is damye kimeshochal banisa mechalva like a hair that is taken out of milk, very smooth and very easily. Rabbi Yochanan Omar Le'eis Metzor is another kavana. What is the kavana? Zu kevura, that a person should always, a chashi should always daven for kevura, for when he needs ultimately that kevura. Omar Rabbi Hanino, my crow, what is the verse that indicates this? Hasmechim Eli Gil, Joyous are the occasions. I, we rejoice in the joyous occasions. Yasisu kiyimsu kever. They will rejoice when they will find kever. Omarabra barashilo hainu dami inchi. This is what people would say. Liboy inish rachamei. A person should daven vakish rachamim. Afilo azibula basraisa shloma. Until. He should daven rachamim that he has to shut shalom all the way until the last offer, the last dirt that is put on his kever. Marzuto Omar leis metzoy is a different explanation. Zebeis hakise. This is having a restroom, a toilet nearby. After all, a person who has to go and relieve himself. If he has to go outside in the cold or in the danger or a place where it's not private, he might hold himself back and he'll be in physical danger. He'll harm his own body. Amri ben Ma'arova, and therefore they said in the Ma'arova, in the West, in Eretz Yisrael, Hod Marzuta Adifa Mikulhu. That which Marzuta said that a person has to dam for a base hakise that should be nearby is most important after all. Of all of these. Omar le rove le rafram bar popo le molon mar mehani mili maliose de amris mishri de rav chisto. Be mili de be kenishto. He says, Rav to rafram bar popo, tell us something that you heard from rav chisto in regards to 
the base Haknesses. Share with us something that you learned from him. Omar le, he said to him, Hochi Omar Rav Chizda. This is what Rav Chizda said. My dechsiv, what is meant by the verse? Ohe Vashem Sha'arei Tzion Mikol Mishkenos Yaakov. HaKash Baruch Hu loves the Sha'arei Tzion, the gates of Zion, more than all of the Mishkenos Yaakov. How could that be? So the Gemara makes a drosha. Ohe Vashem Sha'arei Hametzuyin Hametzuyonim Behalocha. HaKadosh Baruch Hu loves the gates that are found, that are, that are found kavua, consistently in the learning halacha. Yoisim ibote knesios in bote midrashos, from all of the bote knesios and bote midrashos. Vahainu da omre, da omre Rabbi Chia bar Ami, Mishmei de Ula. And this is what Rabbi Chia bar Ami said in the name of Ula. Miyon shechorov beis hamikdosh, from the time that Agarish Baruch Hu destroyed the Beis Hamikdash, he only has these Dalit Amos of Halacha alone. The Omar Abaye, and therefore Abaye said, Marish Hava Garisna Bagoy Beso. Initially, I used to learn and then go to the Beis Haknesis to Davin. Umatsmin Bibote Bebe Kanishta. Kivin the Shaman Eloha, once I heard this, the Omar Rabbi Chia Bar Ami Mishmei de Ula, Miyom Shechov Beis Amikdosh, Ein Lola Gishbochu Bar Oma Elo Arba Omar Shehalacha Bilvad, Lo Hav Matzilna Elo Hecha de Garisna. I would only dive in the place where I learned. I wouldn't then learn and then go to a different place, a Beis Haknesis to dive in. I would dive in the same place where I learned. Rabbi Ami, Rabbi Asi, Afal Gav, the Havalu, Tlesar, Bekinishta, Bitaveria. Even though there are 13 shuls in the area, in the vicinity of Tiveria where they lived, Lo Matslu, Ella, Beni, Amude, Hecha, the Havagarsi. They would still only daven between the pillars of where they learned. Says the Gemara right there, Vama Bechia, Bar Ami, Mishme, the Ula. Godol Hanehene. What does that mean? Greater is one who is nana from his hard work with his hands more than Yir Shomayim. If a person is saying that a person who has Yir Shomayim and he also works for his Parnassus that he shouldn't be tarud, he shouldn't be busy and overwhelmed with all types of things that are taking him away from his avoidus Hashem and from his learning. So therefore, better that he then has Yegiyah Kapayim, he has more Hano as a result, because his avoidus Hashem is more successful than a person who has Yer Shomayim, but he has Tirdos and all types of things that are taking him away from serving HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Where do we find this? As it says in the Pasuk, Dilu Gabe Yer Shomayim, in regards to Yer Shomayim, see it's written, Ashrei Ish Yoreyes Hashem, Fortune is a person who has Yeres Hashem. Ve'ilu gabe nana miyagiya kapoi ksiv. In regards to somebody who is nana from his work, it's written, Yagiya kapecho kisoichel ashrecha v'toivloch. Ashrecha ba'olam hazeh v'toivloch le'olam habo. Le'gabe yershomayim v'toivloch lo ksiv be'i. It doesn't say toivloch in regards to that it'll be good for you where it does say that over here by somebody's Yegiyah Kapov. V'om Rabbi Chia Barami Mishmei De'ulo Lo'olam Yodo Odom B'mokom Rabboi A person should always live in the vicinity of his Rebbe. She'kozman she'shimi ben Geira Kayom Lo'inose Shlomo Ezbaz Paro So long as the Rebbe of Shlomo Melech Shimi ben Geira was alive, he didn't fall and marry Bas Paroi. Vatanya fegd de gemara al yudor. The Brisa says you shall not live in this vicinity of your rebbe. So we have a contradiction. Says the gemara lo kasho had the chayifle had the lo chayifle. When a person is chayifle, that means he'll be submissive, subordinate, and he'll listen to the rebbe when he gives him toichacha. So then the best thing is to live in the vicinity of the rebbe. But if, however, he balks and he doesn't listen to what the rebbe is telling him. So then, much better that he should live somewhere else. Omar Avhuna Bar Yehudo Amrabi Menachem Amrabi Ami 
my dechsiv, what's meant by the following verse? The oiz Hashem yor yichlu, and those who obey Hashem will be yichlu, will be terminated. Ze hameniach sefer Torah v'yotze. This is somebody who leaves when the sefer Torah is opened, it's being opened to be read during kriyas hatara, and he walks out. Rabbi Abo nafik bein gavra le gavra. Rabbi Abo, he would go out, however, between gavra le gavra, between people who had the aliyahs when there was not then reading, the Sefer Torah was then closed in between. Boy, Rapapa, Rapapa asks, bein psuka le psuka mahu. But between posuk, they would read a posuk and then they would translate it to Aramit, Aramaic. So when he would go out during that translation, Mao, what's the din? Teku, the Gemara says, Teku, it's unanswered. Rav Sheshis Mahader Ape Vigoris. Rav Sheshis was an exception. Rav Sheshis, Taraso Umnuso, and he would turn and continue learning what he was learning. Oma, he would say, Anam Bedidon, we have ours, Vi'in Hu Beditu, and they have theirs, their Kriyas Hatayra. 